What's up guys? Welcome to vlog number 44. I hope you all have had a good week this week. I uh, wanted to do a special vlog today um, just to show you guys some life hacks that I have and that I use. Uh, just some products that I use to help me get through my day-to-day -day activities. Um, a few of them I've come up with on my own and a few of them I've bought um, specifically for uh, people that use wheelchairs and things like that. So um, just wanted to show you guys a few things and hopefully this will um, answer some questions for some people but also uh, maybe give people some ideas on some things that they can use uh, to get through their everyday activities. So um, the first one is kind of an obvious one. Um, this is, let me see if I can get it here, this is a, called a reacher, okay? And it does exactly what it's supposed to. It reaches stuff. So um, if there's something on a high shelf or on a cabinet, um, you can uh, use this to get stuff uh, down. And you just press the little lever here, and it closes like that. Um, they make uh, heavy duty ones. This one's really light, which I like. So it's great for doing uh, laundry or picking up stuff. Um, it's it's pretty good for getting certain cans out of a cabinet, but you do have to be careful because if it's heavy, um, you know, sometimes this doesn't hold as good, but you do have to make sure that you hold the grip on it tightly. Um, this right here is for people to, like, hook it on stuff, so I can actually, like, hook it on a nail if I need to, and it makes it easier, or you could hook it right here. Um, I've done that before. And also, on the tip of it, there's a little magnet, so if you drop your keys or something like that, um, and you don't have to worry about trying to pick it up if it's something really small and magnetic, you can actually use the little magnet here on the end. So, I enjoy this thing a lot, and it comes in handy. Um, and somebody asked me one time, well, what do you do if you drop the reacher? Uh, <laughs> which is definitely, um, something that's happened to me on more than one occasion. Um, and typically what I'll do is I'll get a hanger and just take the little hook and hook it through here, and I can pick it up no problem. Or... I can uh, hook the hanger right here on the metal piece, stand this up, and then be able to grab it. So this definitely comes in handy um, in my day-to-day -day life because not only do I have one here at home, um, I have one at work also. And I all the time uh, drop my ink pens at work, uh, notepads, and just little things like that. So it's really helpful uh, in the workplace and at home. Um, another thing I will show you that I use, this is something that I just recently came up with. Uh, this is called, I have dubbed this, uh, the Sonic Stick. Um, we have a Sonic drive-in in in my town and, um, you know, it was really getting on my nerves that anytime I went to Sonic, I always had to ask someone to press the button for me to order. And so, um, because... Even though uh, I can use my left arm and my left hand, it doesn't always, uh, depending on the day, it won't always um, stretch out as much as it needs to. And my van is higher than the button, and it's also a little bit further away. And I'm short anyway, um, so I can't necessarily reach the button, even with my right arm. Um, if I go to try and turn and do all that, plus I just have um, stuff in the way. Um, you know, my, uh, part of my wheelchair is in the way, this arm gets in the way, um, and it's just, it's really hard. So, I came up with this where I can just kind of lean out of the, go out of the car, slide it until I hit the button. So, um, this comes in really handy, and I guess you could also whack someone with it too, uh, if they try to get in the car with you, and they're unwelcome. Um, so I use that, uh, my dad made that for me, and I use that, uh, pretty regularly, uh, if I go to, um, a place that's got a button, you know, where you order food and things like that. I do not go through drive throughs though. Um, again, because of the limited mobility and having to reach, I'm right-handed. My left hand doesn't grip as good as my right hand, so I just choose not to go through a drive through I will, uh, actually go in. Uh, and pick up my food, and to me, it's just a lot safer than having to guess and hope that I could grab a bag, or the bag really isn't the problem, it's the drinks. Um, I just have a big fear of not being able to grip. You can see how this hand does, you know, be able to grip stuff, and I don't want to drop it. 
um, especially after I've already paid for it. Uh, so I just don't do drive throughs I'll go inside. Um, this is about to fall out my lap, so I'll go ahead and do this one. Um, if you use a wheelchair or you have limited mobility, let me just say it is best that you get an OtterBox for your phone. Um, I tend to drop my cell phone all the time, um, and I don't much anymore because I have the clip. Uh, this clip is awesome. Um, what I do is I actually clip this on my seatbelt, and then I will um, clip my phone, of course, in there. And I've always got my phone on my seatbelt. And what I do is I'll put my phone in the clip upside down so that when it's sitting on my seatbelt like this and I take it out, I automatically have it in place to go hello. Like when I take it out of the clip, I can just pick it up and not have to worry about turning it around. So I put it in upside down and then just clip it on my seatbelt. Um, this right here I bought at um, the Verizon store. And what I do when I'm in my car, it's got a magnetic little thing that you can hook on your um, air conditioning unit. And so it clips on there like that. And I usually leave the clip on my seatbelt, take the phone out, and stick it right there. And that way, if I ever get, um, if I ever have car trouble or anything like that, so I don't text or anything like that going down the road, but uh, I can drive hands free. Um, and so if I'm at like a stoplight and someone calls me and it's an emergency or something like that, I can put it on speaker um, if I need to. And I usually don't do that because I don't like to talk when I'm going down the road. But if something were to happen to me, um, I've got the phone right there and I can just, you know, kind of hit the speed dial if I need to. And not have to worry about trying to get my phone out of the clip um, if I'm pulled over or something like that. So uh, that's how I use what I use for my phone. Um, I also use a lanyard, and I've taken it off my keys, but um, I use this uh, a lot for my keys to keep from dropping them. I can put it around my neck, um, especially when I'm in the grocery store and I've got a lot of food and stuff that I'm trying to keep in my lap. Uh, trying to keep up with the keys is the last thing I want to keep up with, so I'll just put it around my neck, and then I've got my keys there. Um, so that's something that I use and that's definitely something that I recommend. Um, you can also of course hang it somewhere and then that way you don't have to always look for your keys. So you definitely need a lanyard um, in my opinion just to help you from like dropping them and stuff like that. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you, I get a lot of giggles from this, is the chain wallet. This thing is like the best invention ever for someone with limited mobility. Um, because what I do, the way I use it, is I take this and I'll hook it to, um, I don't know if you can see good, I'll hook it to my seatbelt like this, okay? And then I put the other part in my lap and that way I don't have to worry about um, dropping it because if I drop it okay so I just dropped it all I gotta do is grab the chain and pull it back up in my lap and I don't have to worry about if I drop it someone grabbing it and running off with it um, so this is the best thing ever and I don't like carrying around a purse um, I do uh, because I put um, some things in there that help me with the bathroom and everything like that. And I'm going to show you that in another vlog. And don't worry, it won't be TMI, I promise. Um, but I don't like carrying around a purse, especially if I'm going shopping. Um, because I tend to put stuff in my lap. So this makes everything hands-free. Um, I can grab it. I can open it up. Um, and uh, like I said, it just it's basically makes things to where I don't have to worry about someone running off with it. And you're going to have to snatch really hard, um, really, really hard to break this uh, and get this out of my lap. Um, that is if you survive long enough to get this out of my lap. Because once I figure out what you're trying to do, um, I'm going to retaliate for sure. Uh, but these are just some life hacks that I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully this will help someone um, and uh, make life a little bit easier. Um, 
like I said, you know, these things, my computer's being weird. These these things have really helped me and improved life a great deal for me. Um, and they seem really simple, but little things can really add up and make a big difference in someone's life. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to do more vlogs like this, kind of some self-help vlogs and things like that. So if there's anything you have questions about in terms of how I do things, or questions about my mobility, or even questions to make your mobility a little bit better, um, please shoot me an email. I'm going to put that in the description. Um, or leave a comment and ask me a question. Uh, you know, and I'll, I'll definitely try to get back with you and definitely do a vlog on it if that's something that you want to see. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Hope you guys have a great week. Um, and I will catch you guys next time. And remember, there's nothing you can't do.